Welcome, and thank you for tuning in to 573 You and Me, a fundraiser for VAC, the Voluntary Action Center. My name is Michelle Curry from Commerce Bank, and I'm a current board member at VAC. So during 573 You and Me, we're going to learn all about the services and programs that VAC provides to our neighbors right here in the 573. And of course, an event like this could not be possible without our sponsors. So we'd like to thank Rural Behavioral Health and our presenting sponsor, Central Bank of Boone County. So here to say a few words from Central Bank of Boone County, Denzel Patterson. Hey, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Denzel Patterson, and I am a loan officer here with Central Bank of Boone County, and I'm one of the newest additions to the backboard. I'm happy to be here today with everyone, and I look forward to what this next hour is going to bring to us. Um, just briefly wanted to just give a personal story about myself and why I'm here today. Um, and so with that, I'm originally from Chicago, um, and like many communities across the country, uh, my family and I needed the support and resources of community organizations like VAC. Um, that was from basic necessities such as hygiene products uh, to assistance for lunch money for school, educational material and programs where my parents were able to kind of get guidance on how to write a resume, how to apply for a job, um, how to interview for a job, things like that. And so in my experience, these services allowed my parents to secure more stable employment and provide stability and prosperity uh, to our family. Um, as a kid, I wasn't aware of the impact these services had on my family. Um, as I got older, I realized that these resources that my parents received made our lives a little easier, um, a little easier for them to get up and go to work, a little easier for us kids to get up and go to school. Um, I was able to participate in youth programs that gave me structure, discipline, and purpose. Um, I had exposure to opportunities that I otherwise wouldn't have. Um, neither of my parents went to college, so they weren't equipped to help me with college, res college readiness. Uh, small things like filling out an application, to writing an essay, to submitting my college application. So it was little things like that, that community organizations like that really really propelled my family and our lives to where we are today. Um, I can truly say that I believe in the mission and vision of this organization and having grown up in a household that benefited and was uplifted from the generosity of those in our community that contribute to the efforts and causes of organizations like VAC, my life would have gone down a different path. Um, when I was approached with the opportunity to join the VAC board, I was excited and also grateful um, I truly believe in reaching back to help uplift those within our community uh, who otherwise would be left behind. Um, I've enjoyed my short time here with VAC and I look forward to continuing to contribute in any way possible. And now I would like to welcome and Ed Stansberry, VAC's Executive Director. Thanks Denzel and <clears throat> thanks for sharing your story with us. And a big thanks to Central Bank of Boone County for their support, and especially to all of you who've tuned in to the 573 You and Me event today. We appreciate everyone being flexible with us as we move this event online. I know we all look forward to the day that COVID doesn't rule our lives like it has the last several months. We wish we could be in person, but we wanted to be respectful of our donors and their comfort level with being in person. Finally, I want to thank the atrium for being so accommodating and uh, allowing us to do what needed to be done. We hope this event next year can be back in their space. For those of you tuning in, expecting to see Nick Foster, I hope that Nick is comfortably rocking on his front porch in his rocking chair that was a gift to him as part of his retirement. I had the privilege to step into the executive director role in January of this year when Nick retired. And Nick has been nothing but gracious and generous in his support as I have transitioned into the executive director position. It's been a wonderful experience so far, and I'm excited to be sharing VAC and its mission with you today. We will enjoy a few board member stories and hear a follow up from a client who shared her story at last year's event. 573 You and Me is a fundraiser focused not only on raising money for VAC, but it also allows us to remind the community of the services VAC provides. VAC has been around for 52 years. 
It began as a volunteer organization providing volunteer opportunities as well as information and referral services. It has since evolved into being the go-to organization for basic and emergency needs for our neighbors in the 573 who are struggling. Our mission is to help low-income individuals bridge the gaps between crisis and stability to improve their quality of life in Boone County. We do that by providing services that I'll highlight later and by referring our clients to other local organizations that provide services FACT does not. The Columbia nonprofit community does not see ourselves as competitors. Instead, we work together to provide a safety net of services for our neighbors most in need. Every individual VAC serves as a resident of Boone County and has an income at or below 200% of the federal poverty guidelines. Every dollar VAC spends, every service we provide stays right here in Boone County. The next slide will show the income levels for various household si sizes that are eligible for services. It might surprise you to see some of the income levels that qualify for services. Our clients come from a variety of backgrounds and situations. Some are re-entering society after incarceration. Some are recovering from addiction. Others are recovering from a mental or physical health crisis. Others are a part of the workforce but simply do not make enough money to sustain daily living. Still others are retired or on fixed incomes that leave them in a position of need. It's quite possible based on the income chart you're seeing that someone you work with, someone you know that is employed is receiving services at VAC. In 2020, VAC served 5,386 individuals in 2,553 households. I want you to think about that number of 5,386 as it relates to the population of Boone County, which is about 150,000 folks. That's roughly three and a half percent of the population coming to VAC for services. To me, that's pretty significant. Of those 5,386 folks, 3,005 were children. The next slide shows some demographics of VAC clients. One thing that struck me in these numbers was the percentage of clients between the ages of five and 19. It reminds me of Denzel's story growing up. And that age group is our future. And I'm proud that VAC is able to provide some level of security and stability for them so that they can have stories much like Denzel's. VAC provides basic needs services in two general categories. The first is tangible services like diapers, car seats, feminine hygiene packs. You can see on this slide that VAC has provided 400 feminine hygiene packs this year through July. And it's interesting to note that we are the only agency in town that provides feminine hygiene packs. We also provide personal hygiene packs, 566 of those through July, and household cleaning packs, 360 of those through July. The list is long and includes much more than I mentioned here. The second way we provide service is financial assistance for things like gas, work uniforms, medical and dental co-pays, medical equipment, prescriptions, as you can see, we've done 101 prescription services through July, and we also help with eyeglasses. We pay for and help folks navigate the process of obtaining Missouri birth certificates and Missouri photo IDs. We have helped 161 folks obtain these documents through July of this year. Last year, during our 573 You and Me event, we shared Angel's story. We followed up with Angel recently to see how she's doing. Here's a quick video update. Uh, my name is Angel Thorpe and I've been in Columbia around 17, 18 years. And the 
experience with Beck has been amazing. It's been a, a dream come true. It helped me come from being homeless and living in a tent on, on the streets, basically, and moving around to having an apartment and a, a home again without voluntary action. I don't think I could have made it by myself to help me in so many different ways. I owe a lot to you guys, and Mr. Jason helped me become a mom and a grandma kid. <laughs> feel comfortable and at ease and made me feel like I could do it. Made me feel worthy. You know, and uh, I can say on the behalf of my grandchildren and, and kids, thank you, because they were as well worried about me and wondering, is mom okay, you know? And so now they t say they don't have to worry about mom, that she's all right now. I'm going on, on, going on the end of my second year on my lease and things are going great. They're awesome. Like I said before, it's still a dream come true. I never I forget to say thanks to God for everything and send a little prayer of thanks for sending him sending voluntary action to me and me to voluntary action as well. Um, I literally feel like God put voluntary action as one of his little stations that he uses to help people and he's got his little angels working in there for people. I pray every day and thank the Lord above for the help that they they do for me. And my grandkids can be <laughs> one to be thankful to because listen, I never get tired of hearing Ganny, Ganny, <laughs> that's what they call me. So it's been exciting getting reunited with my kids and being a mom and a grandma again and right where I wanted to be. <laughs> but I feel myself growing and being more stable because I'm not leaning on back as much as I was before, even though I still need them. I feel myself growing, maybe slow, a little bit at a time, but growing. <laughs> Thank you for that update, Angel. In addition to our basic needs services that I've covered, VAC also offers a housing program to help those who are experiencing homelessness or are at risk of becoming homeless. These individuals may be homeless like Angel, or they could be in housing but are unable to pay rent due to some financial hardship that could lead them to losing their home. Currently, the majority of these hardships, as you can imagine, are related to the pandemic in some way. Homeless individuals also include those who are doubling up with family or friends, couch surfing or living in a hotel or motel. VAC has provided housing assistance to our clients for over 10 years. In 2020, VAC answered the call to the housing crisis created by COVID. We worked with Boone County, the City of Columbia and private funders to help our clients with their housing needs. Our funding grew significantly, as you'll see on this slide. It shows the funding that we've received and distributed since 2019. In 2019, we spent 150,000 for rent or hotel motel assistance serving 73 households. As a result of the pandemic, that figure, as you can see, more than doubled to 382,000, serving 267 households. And in case you thought, well, we all know, the pandemic is not over. And in 2021, we are projected to spend over 550,000 for rent and mortgage assistance, helping 350 households. This again was a, a reaction by this agency to respond to a need. And I think we have done that very effectively. Our housing team is generally funded by grants. All assistance that we provide is based on funding availability and the terms of each individual grant. Believe me, this is complicated work and takes a dedicated staff to make it work for our clients. VAC is constantly on the lookout for new sources of funding for housing assistance 
in an effort to see that none of our neighbors are unsheltered. That's a big goal, but we work hard every day to make it happen. One of the current challenges in the housing area is hotel and motel assistance. VAC has had funding for this in the past, but right now we have spent all of that funding. We aren't alone. There's very little money available for this anywhere in Boone County, and the need just keeps growing. In fact, recently, there were two people receiving hospice care in a motel setting. For most of us, this is hard to imagine, but your donation to this event today can help with that need. I'd like to introduce one of VAC's newest board members, Ezra Como with Lit Studio. We're so glad Ezra accepted our invitation to join our board. Ezra's passion and commitment will be evident as he shares his story with us. Ezra. Thank you, Ed. Uh, hi, everyone. So I'm Ezra Como. I am a business owner, a Marine. I'm also a trans man and a drag king. Um, all of my life, I've spent teetering between lower, uh, the lower class and the middle class, uh, between low income and uh, middle of the road income. So I know what it's like to be on both sides of that. And I know what it's like to face hardships and face financial difficulties and really not know where to go or who to talk to about it. And I know what it's like to have your back pushed against the wall. Um, in those situations, I know what it's like to only have $5 for an entire week of food. And instead of getting food, using it to buy a beer or a pack of cigarettes because I was looking for any sort of uh, relief in that moment, um, despite of all the anxiety and the frustration that was going on in my life. So I know what it's like to be in that life. And I know what it's like to do that with feeling like no one's there. Um, growing up, we were low income and it wasn't until I was a teenager that we started moving up a little bit in income. Um, but I remember my parents always working. And then whenever we were teenagers, them pushing us through school and pushing themselves through school with a household of six people. Um, and I know in doing that, it really felt like that we were kind of on our own little island and we were just trying to figure out how to live and improve our situation while also just living and trying to. Um, and after high school, I decided to join the Marine Corps because I didn't really know what else to do. I knew I wanted to go to college, but I couldn't afford it. So I went into the Marines. Um, and from doing that, it was a life-changing experience as joining the military usually is. But from that, I was able to go to college and I was able to go through that program and find opportunities that I wouldn't have found otherwise. And a lot of opportunities that came from knowing others, from tapping into resources to tapping into community resources that I wouldn't have been able to find otherwise. And from those resources, from finding all those opportunities, I was able to become what I am now and open my business to be able to be a community leader, to join great organizations like VAC. And from all these experiences, if anything, it's taught me that in order to be successful and in order to have a better life, the best way to do that is through teaming up and using those community resources such as VAC. And so that's why I'm here. And that's why I was really excited uh, whenever I got to join um, VAC for the, and being on the board, because I would love to really help push the awareness that of what VAC does and what we do here and the resources that we provide. That way others can really tap into that success and the opportunities that they can have, such as Angel did. So that's why I'm here. Um, I hope to do a lot. And thanks for listening to my story. I'll take it back to you, Ed. Thank you, Ezra. We uh, appreciate who you are and your support of VAC and our mission. I want to lift up some partnerships that have supported VAC for many years. The Boone County Commission, the City of Columbia, and the Heart of Missouri United Way have been faithful partners. These funders have provided significant resources for VAC, and they continue to support various services and programs we offer our neighbors. Without them, it would be difficult if not impossible to do the work we do for our neighbors in need. Other amazing partnerships include the Food Bank of Central and Northeast Missouri, 
the Assistance League of Mid-Missouri, and First Chance for Children. Thanks to them, VAC is able to provide our clients with food from our emergency food pantry, feminine hygiene products, and diapers. We also work with other agencies to help with wraparound services for our clients. Our most recent work has been with Love Columbia. Together, we were able to get Ms. Sherry housed after being homeless for 10 years. This slide shows Sherry and her team from Love Columbia and VAC as they helped her move into her new home. Sherry had been living in the woods and places not meant for human. I'm a crier, folks. I'm a crier. Um, not meant for human habitation for over 10 years. Sherry was connected with the VAC team, members Seneca and Tiona. Tiana, I'm sorry, Tiana. They are on the right hand side. Seneca is on the far right of the picture and Tiana is next to her. Sherry kept asking, what did I do to deserve so many people helping me get on my feet? Adding, I just knew I would die in the woods. But I think this is God's way of saving me. He put you ladies in my life to let me know he's not done with me yet. Thanks to the efforts of Love Clubby and VAC, Sherry was signing a lease within two weeks time. Sherry said the easy part for her was to get the place because of all the support. But the hardest part is going to be able to try and live in it because I've been homeless for so long. But I'm going to cherish it because I don't want to go back to be homeless. Sherry continued to receive support after she was housed to make sure she understood what it meant to go from being homeless to having a home of her own. The support is still being provided by VAX case managers on a weekly basis. Just when Sherry thought she was done receiving, Love Columbia showed up on her doorstep with a moving van full of gently used household items to furnish her home. Once everything was moved in, Sherry laid on her new bed, cried like me, and said, thank you again. Sherry then went outside, prayed, and took the picture you see with representatives from VAC and Love Columbia. At this time, as teary-eyed as I am, I'd like to wrap up VAC's presentation of services and how we are helping our neighbors right here in Columbia, the 573. I welcome Chris Lund, VAC's board president, to the live stream. Chris's leadership reflects his servant heart. Chris is thoughtful, creative That's and has a needed drive to make a difference. He is the right man. person at the right time to build on the successful legacy of VAC. Chris? Yeah. Hello, thanks Ed. My name is Chris Lund. I'm the board of the Voluntary Action Center. Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to learn more about VAC. To learn more about the needs of our neighbors here in Columbia, the needs of their families, children and individuals that we help and come alongside of here at VAC. Like many of you, I fell in love with VAC years ago. I saw firsthand that the work they're doing at Douglas Park to serve children who are hungry and in need of a meal. I saw the passion and heart for helping others that our former executive director, Cindy Mustard, had for those in our community who needed a helping hand. And now some 20 years later, it pleases me to see the heart of Voluntary Action Center and its service to helping those in need is as strong as ever. I am fortunate enough to see firsthand the love, compassion, care, respect, and empathy that the VAC staff, donors, and volunteers display every day when helping those who come to VAC. It has been a joy to see VAC continue to flourish. The needs in our community continue to grow and now more than ever, people need our help. VAC is doing all that can to keep up with the growing list of needs 
and they need our help and continue to do so. There are two specific ways you can partner with VAC in their mission. First, the most immediate way to, is to donate to VAC today. I'd like for you to consider partnering with us by giving at least $100. I know you probably have many opportunities to support causes here in town, so if that's not doable, any amount is extremely helpful. But in light of our goal of raising $40,000 today, I want to ask you to consider donating $100. If you can donate more, please do so. You can donate at vacmo.org. It's safe, it's secure, and it's easy, and it's also tax deductible. Second way you can partner with us is by donating your time. We're always in need of compassionate volunteers who have a heart for service. Whether it's lunch in the park, the holiday program, or something else, we can definitely use you. Please go to vacmo.org to learn more. And finally, it's our hope that this is not a one-time transaction or a random volunteer opportunity. We want partners. We want to develop lifelong relationships and friendships in which we nurture and grow, where our common bond is a love for our neighbors. For that's what VAC's foundation was built upon. The heart of service and helping is embodied by many of you who are watching right now. In closing, the needs here in Columbia are great and they're growing. Please consider donating your money and or your time today. As for today, our neighbors are hurting and they need our help. For today, your donation can change the life of someone in our community. And just maybe it will change your life as well. Thank you and God bless. Thank you, Chris. Um, a few last thank yous. Uh, thanks to VAC's Director of Development, Heather Stewart, and her trusty assistant, Penny Kuhn-Snar, for their work behind the scenes today to make this event happen, and for their work in the weeks leading up to this event. I also want to thank the VAC staff for their tireless work and hearts for service. They've been a huge help to me as I continue to grow into this new position. Thank you, too, to the VAC board, what a group of talented, willing folks who volunteer for all the right reasons. The board has been a source of strength and information for me as my first year has unfolded. And thanks again to our presenting sponsor, Central Bank of Boone County and Borough Behavioral Health for their additional sponsorship. And last but not least, once again, thank you so much for joining us today, taking the time out of your day to be with us and for your donations. I'll leave you with one last reminder of how you can donate back and support 573 You and Me. Have a good one, everybody. Thanks again.